we have with us uh, Grandmaster Murli Karthik, who just beat the Grandmaster uh, Vitalian. So, uh, Karthik, uh, back to that two victories, uh, how are you feeling? I yeah, am feeling great, especially after two losses I had in this tournament. Uh, so, can you tell us about today's game, what happened? Uh, today's game, I think uh, he just collapsed after uh, the opening. I think at one point he took bishop d4, which was slightly dubious to give the bishop. I think he, I don't know, I don't know, maybe he didn't judge the position correctly because after queen b6, knight b3, I got the c4 and then bishop c3, you know. After bishop c3, I think my bishop was very strong on c3. So I think bishop d4 was a mistake. And after that, even after that, uh, he had a chance to play uh, e5 instead of uh, knight f8, which was a knight f8 was a mistake I thought because after rook g4 he cannot play e5 and f6. So I thought you should play e5 and f6 then to play knight f8 knight e6. So it was out of I don't know like close to equals there. So I think he basically collapsed after. Uh, uh, I mean he played fast in the opening, but after bishop d4 I think he collapsed. And uh, can you tell us about your strategy also? Yeah, yesterday I was in my preparation till I played castles. Uh, the move which he played was, I mean the move queen h5 was like kind of dubious because the queen was not doing anything there. So he could have played queen d2 something simpler like queen d2 and knight b3 something like this would have been equal. So after queen h5 or 6 I think it's already I have a slight edge. And even after that when I played rook a e8, rook a into e8 after queen into e8. Uh, e6 bishop e6 I think he had to play knight c6 there the line which I was calculating was knight c6 king f7 and then knight a7 d4 bishop d4 and uh, c5 knight b5 and then rook d8 this was the line I was calculating uh, bishop e3 bishop c4 and then a4 bishop f1 king f1 I thought this in game is good for me I thought he will be going for this uh, but uh, he didn't play that. He played 90, which was like clearly a uh, mistake because I just got an extra pawn for free. Uh, in the end, I had some technical uh, things to work out. Like after rook e7, I was not sure about rook e8, the end game after rook e8. So I had to play rook c8 and then to find the c5 idea. So yesterday's game was also smooth. Uh, I had only one critical portion in the game. Yeah. Sajan Master this year, uh, his lineup is really strong. How you enjoy to play and uh, how difficult uh, because everyone is a grandmaster. Right? Yeah. How difficult to come back after losing two back to back games. Yeah, actually, uh, it it is all about my mindset uh, because I can uh, see the change even in my results also because what I was doing is that. Uh, before coming to the tournament, I was in the mindset like I have to win something like this. So every game I have to, I to, I should try for uh, I should try to win the game. That's what happened in the first game also. Like uh, I know my position is uh, like passive. I had to defend, but I took unnecessary risk and then I completely like uh, I didn't play correctly in the first game and also against. Uh, as I know like I am like passive again but I played for win and then I collapsed again. So after that I told to myself that okay I should play a good game even though it's a draw I have to accept it. So after like I accepted that then like even though like uh, let's say if I didn't get a win I was okay with that. So but uh, when I changed to that mindset now I am getting like wins two wins like this. So it's all about the mindset. Okay, so we wish you a good luck for upcoming rounds and enjoy talking to Chester Senior. Thank you. Thank you.